today we're going to go on a boat on a bit of a tour. So I've just purchased a beer, it's called a LaRue beer, for 15,000 dong, which is pretty much one dollar uh, New Zealand. It's 4.2 alcohol, let's just try it. Which is not too bad actually, not bad for a dollar, right? Eh? <laughs> I think I might have a couple more. This is rice milk for cooking, but you can make rice noodle out of it as well. Yeah, noodle. Okay, and rice paper. You've got the um, bit of squid, bit of chicken, bit of pork, papaya salad, bean sprouts, some lettuce. It's one thing about these meals is that you can have about you know, so many ingredients, even just in the in the um, little omelet there, which is made from rice milk. Um, then you've got you know your your dipping sauce, your, your whatever it is. It's got heaps heaps of stuff in it. Roll it up. Oh, chuck it in. Here. Yeah, it's there's um, a whole lot of speakers uh, situated in the middle of this tiny wee village here and um, what happens is three times a day they get announcements of the news that comes through from the government uh, and that happens three times a day through through loudspeakers. So we're here at a, at a just a village really and we're, we're having um, a, a lunch here. Interesting, I was just talking to our guide Lum and she was telling me that her uh, grandfather used to live 50 k's north of here, had six children and um, just after the Vietnam War with the US and because of the ancient orange, the chemical weapons that the Americans dropped, um, three of her uh, brother, or three of her husband's um, brothers um, had birth defects like cleft palate and um, uh, what was the other one? Oh, I, can't, I can't remember what it was. But um, um, one of her sons has also suffered from um, one of these illnesses as well. Uh, so it sort of comes, to, sort of flows down the generations. Um, but it's been quite interesting actually. You talk to some of these um, Vietnamese people and you say, look, do, do you sort of, uh, you know, blame the Americans or, you know, um, you know, and you talk about the amount of war that they've gone through. They've been invaded by the French, they've been invaded by the Chinese, been invaded by the Americans. And they're very forgiving race, you know. Uh, I think what really sort of resonated with me was when one of them said that we have hope for the future. And um, that's that announcement just finishing. Um, and that's what's really come across to me as such a resilient race. And they're also happy. So, uh, yeah, it's quite, quite, quite fascinating, really. Anyway, I'm going to go have some lunch. <laughs>